So, you have a new show for me? Yes, sir, I do. Miss Marvel? I mean, honestly, we've been putting out so much content, I haven't really had the chance to get nostalgic. That's no, this is a show called Miss Marvel about this 16-year-old Kamala Khan. Oh, and what's her deal? Well, she freaking loves the Avengers, sir, especially Captain Marvel. She has all her merch. Oh, we're even making fictional money off of merch. I like that. Yeah, and so Kamala has this friend Bruno, and it seems like he's got a little crush on her. Aw, teenage love. And she's gonna meet this new kid, Cameron, and it seems like he has a little crush on her. Oh, him too. Okay. And later in the show, she's gonna meet this guy, Kareem, and it seems like he's got a little crush on her. Him as well, also. Alright, him too. And she also has this brother, Amir. Oh no. And he's gonna get married soon. Oh, thank God. So anyway, Kamala really wants to go to this Avengers convention, but her parents are super strict. They don't want her to go. Okay. But she sneaks over to it anyway, dressed like Captain Marvel, and that's where she discovers she has powers. How did she get powers? By putting on this bangle from her grandma and getting powers from it. Oh, that was pretty simple. Okay, neat. Yeah, so she ends up saving this girl from something that she herself caused, and now she's a secret superhero. Oh, wow, 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 wow. So anyway, later she's gonna find out that that guy Cameron and his mom Najma are part of this group called the Clandestines. And what's her deal? Well, they're from another dimension, and they've been stuck here for like 80 years, and they need Kamala's help to get back. Right. But then Bruno's like, well, that might be dangerous. So Kamala's like, okay, well, I'm gonna take a minute to think about this. Yeah, I mean, that's totally fair. But then and Najma hears about that and she goes nuts and they all attack Amir's wedding. They've been waiting for 80 years and they can't wait a couple more days for Kamala to think about it. That's what we're going with. And these people have some little powers of their own, so they're pretty dangerous and they'll straight up kill people. They don't care. Oh no. But then these federal agents from the Department of Damage Control show up and arrest all the bad guys. Jeez, well I guess they must interrogate all the guests from the wedding too, huh? They do not. So then Kamala's grandmother calls and she's like, hey listen, you guys gotta come to Karachi right now. So so they get on a plane and head over there. So not only do they not interrogate anyone, they let them leave the country as well? Oh yeah, they're comically incompetent, sir. Yeah, sure sounds that way. But they do take the clandestines into custody. Wow, is it gonna be tough for them to break out? Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, cause see, they just kinda, they just kinda do it. They just kinda break out immediately. Well, these damage control people are terrible at controlling damage. They sure are, sir. So then in Karachi, Kamala meets these people called the Red Daggers. And what do they do? Well, they have a very nifty PowerPoint presentation to explain alternate dimensions and stuff. They just had that ready to go? Yeah, I mean, people always have expository presentations ready to go in the MCU. That's a good point. Weird that we don't ever see anyone preparing those. Kinda. So then they show her that if the clandestines manage to open up this veil to the Nord dimension where they're from, that'll basically destroy the world. Whoa, 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 whoa. The world is at stake? It rarely isn't, sir. Jeez, whoa. I wonder if the world's gonna end. Maybe this time it will, you know? Maybe this is the time. Man, that's high stakes. I hope the world doesn't end. I hope it keeps going. Well, stay tuned to the rest of the pitch to find out, sir. I will. So anyway, later Najma stabs the bangle, which sends Kamala back to 1942 during the partition. She can time travel? Yeah, I guess so. So then she saves her own grandmother's life and then comes back. Good, good. It's good that she did that. Yeah, she had to make sure that she'd be born one day. I think it'd be really good for the show if the main character was born. I agree. So then when she comes back to the present time, the veil is open, but it turns you into a skeleton if you touch it. Those are from Halloween. They sure are, sir. So then Kamala convinces Najma that if she ended the world, her son would be sad about that. So she decides not to end it. Oh, cool that it was so simple to change her mind after eight decades of determination. Yeah, so she transfers her powers to her son, which is a thing that she can do, and then she closes the veil and turns into a skeleton. Wow, well that's a nice message. What is? Well, you know, maybe the real skeletons were inside us all along. I yeah, that's not technically wrong. Nice. All right. Not technically being wrong is tight. So, okay, so moving on. So then they gotta go back to America because Cameron cannot handle these new powers. Uh-oh. So Kamala's parents give her a cool new costume so she can go save the day and help out. I thought they were super strict and protective. Yeah, but now that she defied them a bunch and did a whole lot of dangerous stuff, they're like, yeah, you, you we, we can trust you now. What? So all the kids go to their high school, but then damage control shows up. How'd they find them? Well, one of the kids asked that question, but another one's like, it doesn't matter. Matter. But how did they, though? Hey, shut up. So now they're outside and they've got the school surrounded. Man, well, it's gonna be tough for a group of kids to get out of that situation. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, they rig up the school Home Alone style and they take these guys out with science and with softball launchers. It sounds like it takes super long to set up. Why didn't the agents just go in? Because? So then these agents try to shoot Cameron dead, but Kamala jumps in and saves him. They tried to shoot a kid? They did, yeah. They said they would use 
use non-lethal force and then immediately used lethal force. Yikes. So then Kamala punches a hole in the ground and he escapes to Pakistan. How deep was that hole? I know, right? No, like, what are you talking about? And then Bruno's gonna tell Kamala that he discovered she has a mutation. That's the word from the other thing. It sure is, sir. And then Kamala swaps places with Captain Marvel. Very exciting and confusing. And so that's about it. What do you think? Oh, well, it sounds like a lot of fun. Maybe we put this out at the same time as that Obi-Wan Kenobi show we're doing. Uh, is that the best strategy, sir? Feels like people are gonna want to watch Obi-Wan instead of Miss Marvel, maybe. Nah, I think it'll be fine. Hi everybody, it's Ryan here. Thanks for watching that video, hope you liked it. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, the please uh, comment, please like, click like, subscribe, uh, share. Also share, click like, comment, subscribe, like, comment down below. Anyway, that's it for me. Don't forget to click and uh, comment like. Subscribe.